Hi, I'm a relationship expert, as you know, but I'm also a woman. And so I go out on dates. So most recently, I went out with a man, and we really got along well. Except he told me he had been in a sexless marriage. Now, I didn't know whether he wanted me to get my violin out and start mm, feeling terribly sorry for him, or to make up for lost time and to jump into the sack so he didn't feel so badly. But in any case, the relationship couldn't work, and I moved on. A couple weeks later, I found another guy, and he told me that he was in a sexless marriage also. So forget about my dating. Now I was very interested in finding out more about sexless marriages in this culture. First of all, I found out that 40 million people in the United States are in sexless marriages, meaning they have sex less than 10 times a year. And Newsweek found that between 15 to 20 percent of married couples are in sexless marriages. The question is, why do people continue in these kinds of marriages when they're terribly unfulfilled? Well, the reason that I got from the two men that I had met was, well, I stayed for the sake of the children. But here's the rub. It's this. Notice this is one of my gildograms. What I accept, I teach. And so in the marriage, they accepted this state of affairs and they inadvertently taught their spouse, well, this is the way things are. Ladies and gentlemen, are you in a fulfilling sexual relationship in your marriage, in your living situation with somebody? You don't have to become a statistic and you never should be blaming the children for your having stayed because children know. They know there's tension. They're, they know that there's disillusionment in the relationship and it just doesn't work. Both these men that I had met were not happy.